Advanced English, Lesson Four. Topic: Yard Sale. Part Two: Grammar. If you did a good job with the listening in Part One, then you're ready to talk about the grammar that I used. In Part Two, we'll focus on the use of negative adverbs. When we form negative sentences in English, we often use the word "not" or "never." For example, "I've never studied German." "I do not speak German." "Not" and "never" are examples of negative adverbs. "Seldom" is another example. "Seldom" means "not often." "I'm seldom required to use my French." There are other negative adverbs and expressions. Let me show you a list. The list you see here is not complete, but negative words and expressions in English include "at no time," "by no means," "hardly," "little," "neither," which could also be pronounced as "neither," "nor," "no sooner than," "not only." Nowhere, only, under no circumstances. In part one, I talked about all the junk that Americans accumulate and keep in their homes. I said that you'll seldom find a family with an empty attic or basement, but that's not the exact wording that I used. In part one, I said. Seldom will you find a family with an empty attic or basement. Seldom will you find. Do you notice something different about the word order? I changed the subject and the verb. I switched them around. I inverted them. We're going to talk about inversion with negative adverbs. Here's the sentence you just heard me recall from part one. Now look at a second sentence from Part One. I said, "Rarely do you see a yard sale take place on a workday or last towards dinner time." What do the two sentences have in common in terms of structure? Look at the word order. They both begin with a negative adverb. Looking further, the word order is the word order you normally find in questions. Only these are not questions. That means inversion takes place not only in questions but also after negative words and expressions. Both sentences follow this pattern: negative adverb, verb, subject. But the verb you see highlighted in red is not the main verb, is it? It's the helping verb, also known as the auxiliary verb. So we have a negative adverb, auxiliary verb, subject, and then the main verb. Let's talk more about structure. Our first example could be rewritten like this: You will seldom find a family with an empty basement or attic. This is more common wording. It's the wording you'd encounter in everyday English, especially spoken English. However, in part one, I chose to emphasize the word "seldom." I placed it first, and then I took the existing auxiliary verb and placed it second. Seldom will you, seldom will you find a family with an empty basement or attic. For a second example, the more common wording would be: You rarely see a yard sale take place on a workday or last towards dinner time. However, again, I chose to emphasize the negative adverb by placing it first. This sentence, though, has no auxiliary verb because the sentence is in the simple present. Do you remember if we're forming questions in the simple present or a simple past? Which auxiliary verbs can we choose from? We use do, does, or did, and that's what I'll do here again. For inversion with a negative adverb, if there is no auxiliary verb, 
you need to choose one. So I wrote, Rarely do you see a yard sale take place on a workday or last towards dinner time. The exception to this pattern would be a sentence with the form of be as the main verb. For example, she is seldom late for class. If we emphasize seldom by placing it first, which forces inversion, we get the sentence seldom is she late for class. No auxiliary verb is needed. We simply inverted is and she. So far we've only seen examples with adverbs of time. Let's look at this example, our third example from part one. Only if you live in a condo association do you need to give notification to your neighbors. How could we rewrite this sentence without inversion? You need to give notification to your neighbors only if you live in a condo association. Note then how there can be separation between the negative adverb and the inverted subject and verb. Here's our fourth example from part one. Only when we realize that we have too many things and too little space left in our homes do we decide to take action. How could we rewrite this sentence without inversion? We decide to take action only when we realize that we have too many things and too little space left in our homes. Let's pause to note some important points. First of all, inversion can emphasize the meaning of the negative adverb or expression. Also, inversion with negative adverbs is more common in writing than in speaking. And that's because inversion with negative adverbs tends to be more common in formal speech. You'll encounter inversion in an academic, professional, or legal context, or sometimes in the news. Let's do some practice. I think you're ready for an exercise. Exercise 1. Rewrite each sentence so that the negative adverb begins the sentence. Example. I did not fully realize how much I was committing myself to when I volunteered to organize the yard sale. We're going to rewrite this sentence and we'll start with the negative adverb little, which has the same meaning as not fully. In this exercise, I'll first show you only the negative adverb and give you some time to think how you'd complete the sentence. I'll then offer more help by showing the whole sentence, but I'll still leave out the inverted subject and verb. So in our example sentence, what is missing? Little did I realize. Little is our negative adverb, did is our auxiliary verb, I is the subject, and realize is our main verb. Little did I realize how much I was committing myself to when I volunteered to organize the yard sale. Here's number one. I made signs to advertise the yard sale, but that's not all. I also posted them around the neighborhood. Please rewrite this statement as one sentence, starting with not only. Here's a little more help. Now try completing the sentence. The answer? Not only did I make signs to advertise the yard sale, I also posted them around the neighborhood. Number two. I gained approval from my condo association. Then not much time passed before I began to search my home for things to sell. Here's a little more help. Can you complete the sentence now?
your answer might read, No sooner did I gain approval from my condo association than I began to search my home for things to sell. And I find that answer acceptable. However, often there's a preference for the past perfect when using no sooner than. So I believe the preferred wording would be, No sooner had I gained approval and use of the past perfect really clarifies the order of events. Here's number three. I needed help carrying all my things, but I only realized this after I made my first long trip to my table. Here's some help in completing the sentence. And the answer? Only after I made my first long trip to my table did I realize I needed help carrying all my things. 4. I did not manage to sell everything. My neighbors did not either. Can you complete the sentence? The answer? I did not manage to sell everything. Neither did my neighbors. Note this pattern with the use of neither. The main verb is not needed because it's understood from context. Neither did my neighbors. 5. I would not in any way discourage other neighborhoods from organizing yard sales. My experience was a rewarding one. Here's a bit more help. The answer? By no means would I discourage other neighborhoods from organizing yard sales. My experience was a rewarding one. Are you ready for the next challenge? Exercise 2. Answer the question. Try to start your sentence with the negative adverb provided. 1. What do you think about people who have a lot of junk in their closets? 2. As an example, here's my answer. Seldom do these people throw out old things to make room for new things. 2. What's your opinion of bargain hunters? 3. Comment on your own spending habits. 4. Comment on your ability to save money. 5. What happened the last time you received or earned a large sum of money? 